Hi there, I'm Ron Waterman, the founder and CEO of StorySmart, a nationwide service that empowers you to have your story told professionally on the screen, but you own it as though you did it yourself. Today, I wanna to talk to you about the distinction between video production and video storytelling. Um, it's, uh, it's an important distinction, and this is, uh, this is a companion video. This is actually a video production and not a video story, uh, uh, to give you a, a little bit of a clue as to the distinction between the two of those things, but this is a companion video uh, that goes with a written blog post that I urge you to check out because it really does a good job of laying out the differences between the, the, the two. And, and really, uh, I think a lot of people have I think they have to choose between telling a good story and getting a good video production and I don't think that those things are intellectually distinct uh, they can be it's not it's not a binary decision it's not an either or you can have your cake and eat it too uh, you can have uh, you can tell a beautiful story on screen and have great video production and, and that's what story smart honestly is all about um, you know, uh, the, the, the practical reality is we want you to tell your story using great video production um, and we want that story to come alive on screen. And um, I, the reason I want to talk to you about the distinction between video production and video storytelling is because there really isn't a lot out there uh, that makes it easy for the average person to buy video storytelling. Um, if you're buying video production, you you know what? It's a buyer's market. There are tons of wonderful video production companies out there that can help you produce a beautiful video. But the storytelling you're going to have to bring to them. Um, and it's been my experience in my career as a communications professional. It's the, it's the storytelling piece that's the most unique, most important thing. And not everybody is a great visual storyteller. Um, you know, the practical reality is most people aren't. And so you might have a great story, but if you don't have great storytelling with that story, that story will get lost. Um, and so you, you want to invest in good storytelling. And you can have your cake and eat it too. You can have great production. But the key to all of it is knowing your audience, uh, knowing the story that you want to tell, being intentional about telling that story, making it relevant to that audience, um, bringing the humanity to that story, um, meaning that you need to tell that story in an emotional way, make it emotionally compelling. Have beautiful visuals uh, that, that paint a great picture, uh, that bring that story to life, and that connect at an emotional level with your audience. Uh, and that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about storytelling. Uh, there's all kinds of wonderful production out there, but great storytelling means you need to hire a great storyteller. So my strong advice to you is, well, of course, you can always hire StorySmart. Uh, that's, that's our forte. But if you're out there and you don't want to work with us, um, you know, and you want to source your own um, uh, video storytelling, then my strong recommendation is to go after experienced filmmakers, documentary filmmakers, and television journalists. Um, especially if you're working in what I would call the sort of the documentary space. If you're wanting to do scripted storytelling, I would find a great uh, director, um, writer, uh, you know, somebody like a Steven Spielberg or a Walt Disney, uh, right? People that with experience bringing a scripted uh, story to the screen. Uh, that's a unique art form. So um, central to all of it is a good storyteller and focusing on story. So anyway, I hope you found that helpful. I urge you to check out the written blog post. It does a, a wonderful job of kind of laying it out in a very basic way. Um, and until next time, stay story smart.